from Wikia Pill Outdoor Learning Center uh, outside Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Wikia Pill is this little nature exhibit with this nice little building that's showing all sorts of nature in its glory. We like this little display. There's all sorts of stuff to see here inside the building. But we are here today for one reason, to celebrate a local geocacher's accomplishment in receiving the Geocacher of the Month, a program that Ground Groundspeak started up a couple years ago to uh, celebrate uh, outstanding geocachers. Um, the local geocacher's name is The Weasel. Let's go see if we can get an interview with him. So here we are. This is uh, the uh, Geocacher of the Month, uh, The Weasel, uh, from name Tim Stewart. So how does it feel to be the uh, Geocacher of the Month? Uh, it feels pretty good. Uh, it's, I consider it more of a, an honor for Iowa. Uh, I mean, granted, I'm very appreciative that I won it, but I think it just shows how much Iowa supports its own geocachers and how much we come together when something of this nature comes up. I don't think it would matter who from Iowa, if they ever got nominated, was up for running. I think, you know, anybody would get the full support from our state. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, too, some you, you have the distinction of being the Geocache of the Month with the most ever votes mm -hmm. for. How do you feel about that? Um, I honestly, I didn't expect that many votes. I think it came down to since you know both sides were getting. It's not. I don't think it's because you know I had all these people. It was because both me and the Raven, who I'm actually wearing the shirt, very nice guy, gave me this shirt. Uh, he had a lot of followers, uh, and when it comes to a race when it's back and forth so close and everybody's reaching out, and especially in, in this day of technology like Facebook and people reaching out, you know, friends of friends of friends voting, may not even know geocaching, but people are asking him, oh, you've got to vote for, you know, a friend. So, and when I talk to Dan Raven about it, we're like, you know, I, out of these 800 people, I bet we know maybe 200 of them. So. Uh, just something, so quite a humble guy. I think do very. Uh, uh, the award is very uh, fitting for this uh, for this geocacher, and uh, congratulations, sir. Thank you. And in case uh, you all wanted to know why, something I'm always curious about is why people chose their geocaching handles. Tim, why did you choose the weasel? Um. Well, it's not because I'm short or I look like a weasel. Uh, I've actually had that nickname for probably about. 30, 35 years. Uh, my dad kind of gave it to me because uh, when I was younger, I was always getting into things, cupboards, whatever. And he, what are you doing, you little weasel? Get out of there! Get out of this and get out of that! Because I was getting into things, and so he gave that to me, and it uh, kind of stuck. And uh, even actually gave my daughter, who's seven, a nickname when she was born, and started calling her Possum. So I just started calling her Possum. So we got a weasel and we got a Possum. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> We also happen to come across the guy who nominated the weasel for the geocache of the month. We have uh, Jeff Goodson here. Hi, Josh. Uh, the super Goober. Hi. Um, you know, first, I want to ask you, what makes the geocache of the month, and why Tim is the you know, geocache of the month in your eyes? We're I think the key to the geocacher of the month is not somebody that's really good at geocaching. Personally, that, that doesn't that does, that doesn't matter. It's not. The best geocacher because he's found so many and all that. It's more about the person that's given back and what this person's given back. Has this person put out some really good hides? Is this person given back to the caching community by maybe teaching classes or doing other things, uh, organizing events at other uh, public relations parks? And it's basically how much that person gives back. And fortunately, Iowa people are very good about giving back. Good. And I asked Tim too, and I'll ask you, why super group? Oh, well, well, is no interest why people uh, choose their geocaching handles? And is okay. Super group. I actually this name was created back in 1998 when I created my uh, eBay password. I tried to create a password that said Goober. It was taken, so it was Super Goober. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Long story short, back in April, actually April 7th of 2007, I got a, I got an email from somebody, and he said, "Hey, I noticed you've been finding some caches on the, well, thank you. Noticed you've been finding some caches on the old Cramery Nature Trail. 
just west of Renton. Do you mind if I join you tomorrow? I'm like, sure. Now, come to find out, this person was the weasel, Tim Stewart. I, I kind of heard of his name, but I didn't really know him personally. So we started cashing it. It didn't take very long for me to realize that he had certain talents that I have, and I have certain talents that he has. So we actually complimented each other as far as the caching team. I'm kind of more of the techie guy, but I'm afraid of trees and stuff like that. <laughs> and he's not. He's not afraid of anything. <laughs> so we started caching together. We soon found out that uh, our t talents work very well as far as the caching team. I can honestly say in the years that I've known Tim, we've never really argued. He's he's always so dang agreeable. <laughs> He'll be, so without further delay, I present to you Geocacher of the Month for January of 2013 goes to Tim Stewart, also known as the made friends with, if it wasn't for everybody here, and those that couldn't make it but still supported me, I, you know, I wouldn't be standing up here with this award. Uh, it, it's not really an award for me, I mean, yeah, it has my name on it, but I think it shows a bigger uh, picture of what Iowa is and how we support everybody. It could be anybody that was nominated that month, it could have been, you know, Gary and Don, it could have been, you know, Cosmic Cashers. And I know we'd all stand behind whoever it was. I don't, you know, it, it doesn't matter. And I can pretty much guarantee that any Iowa Casher would win because we have such a great following and such great people here that this, this is for as, as much as mine is as everybody's. Other than that, I'm, like I said, I'm glad everybody can make it. Thanks again for, for voting and supporting me. And uh, I look forward to sitting in here when we get the next Iowa Cashier up here and, and supporting them. So, um, I don't know, Liz, do you or uh, Jim have anything you guys want to say for IGO? I'd like to. Come on up. The floor is yours.